Hello! This is the All Weasel Let's Play Quest for Infamy. I... Well, he was wearing some armor. Apparently not enough. I killed a beast. So that's, that's pretty good. I assume this is the beast I was supposed to kill for blood, but I don't seem to have collected any blood. Crikey, his damn head fell right off into the stump. Well, these things happen. Got to admit, that was equal parts cool and gross, as there were still a few rotting tendons holding it on. Too bad you didn't feel like animating that beyond the few pixels in the background. You peer inside and notice an old steel helmet, complete with horns. It's too bad this guy died because he might have been a badass. You take the helm, figuring you could use it better. Better than a corpse? Yeah, I imagine so. Uh Oh, I can't... Hmm. I can't, like, apply it. Because there's no head equipment. You need to equip armor in this slot. You need to equip... You need... You need to equip... Well then, can I equip a sword? No. <laughs> Huh, okay. This helmet is awesome and horny. Ain't it though? You'd love to wear this, but it's too small. You've got a large head. Okay, well, we're always full of excuses, aren't we? Okay, so I believe I have now killed the correct beast for my quest. I could be completely wrong, really not sure. So rather than wandering further out into the forest, I'm just going to make a beeline to complete that quest. Under the assumption that that's the right thing to do, which it may or may not actually be. I mean, it did auto-save beast, and he did say that we were looking for a beast, and I asked about a beast. It was all just beast. Beast, beast, beast. Now, this is where I came in. But how do I actually... Not like that. Hmm. You try with all your might, but... Can I get back into town this way? Whatever you try... I cannot get back into town this way. That's a problem. Can I get back into town... This way? You play around with it. Whatever it is, whatever you play around. That's a big no. Okay, let's get back to the front gates, I guess. <laughs> if this were Quest for Glory, I would go to the front gates and try to climb over them. So let's see if that's the correct option. Okay, now trying to just walk into the gate is a bad idea. Let me just, uh, save this as a gate. I doubt this will let me in. You can't make it over the gate, but you do get some practice climbing. Way to go! So maybe if I just try that over and over again? You climb over the gate. And I didn't get caught. Okay, great! We did it! Yo, I might have completed your quest? I'm really unsure. You have no reason to talk to Ian now. You should be trying to bring back the blood of the beast. Literally the thing I was trying to do. Maybe I needed to put it in this helm or something? I mean, what else would I put it in? Maybe if I drink the health potion, then I will... Uh... Then, like, it'll give me the empty bottle? Okay, let's- let's try... Quaffing the health potion. You drink the healing potion. It's smooth and silky, but tastes like rotten flowers. Nevertheless, we feel better. It does not give me the bottle back, so that was a complete waste of time! Let's not do the- oops, not the gate. No, 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 no. So maybe I will try to collect it in this helm after all. I guess, you know, I, maybe there was an opportunity for me to get a little bottle to put the blood in, but I don't seem to recall any such thing. You attempt to gather some blood in the container, but there seems to be something else mixed with the blood. 
Oh crap, literally. The beast must have shat itself when it died, and it's all leaking to the blood pooling on the ground. Great. That is the single grossest thing you've ever seen. I'll put your hand near. Here's a better idea. Try cutting the head off first and draining that instead. Bloody hell, the designs of this game are just sick. Aren't they though? Isn't there must be an inventory button that's faster than clicking up here every time. Uh, tab. Of course it's tab. Okie dokie. We'll just chop off this bear's head. Okay, so we're just gonna carry the whole head then. Huh? You attempt to gather Oh crap that is funny. I'm glad that they thought of that. <laughs> hey, back to the gate again. Bzzz. Back to the gate. You can't if it Just try it a few times, it'll work. There we go. Climb over the gate. Practice. Yo, I've got your blood, sicko. Oh wait, do I need to do it like this or do I just talk to him? You have no reason to talk to Ian now. You should be trying to bring back the blood of the beast. I have the reason of, here is his frickin' head. Holy cripes on toast, man. That is grim. In it, though. Job. But I didn't need the whole head. Just some blood from it. Preferably in some kind of container. Oy vey. So, do I then do this? You collect the dripping blood off the head. Got it, understood. Helm with blood. Ah, excellent. I can't believe you did that. That beast went down like a bitch. Well, it seemed parrot dog. I'm impressed, sir. Now, I can't use this stuff without cutting it with some oil. The stuff is too strong. It'll eventually dissolve metal unless I add some kind of oil to it. I gotta find some. Hmm. Okay. You got that oil yet? Not yet. Well, come back when you do. <laughs> I haven't even left yet. Give me a break. Okay, so I have to find a way to get some oil. Probably not at night, because you can just, like, purchase oil. It's just, you know, something you can buy with money. So, <laughs> I think it is finally time to go to sleep, actually. And I sure am taking an interesting route to get there. Hi. Hey there. Whoa there. Sorry, I know that I'm- That's a Well, good call. Bye. So, you just- you're always here. All night, all day, always here. Okay! <laughs> Specklad in chat points out that, uh, it'll dissolve metal, but that's a metallic helmet. Indeed, I assume that that was intentional. I think it's trying to suggest that you really do need to be a bit, uh, fast about it. Even though, mm, probably you don't really need to. Okay, we know what our next uh, quest is. We need to get some oil. I really wish this game had a journal of some kind to tell you what to do next, but oh well. You don't. He smells like the donkey cart you were riding in earlier. You don't want to get too close to him. Okay, I was gonna rob whatever he has on him, which is probably not much. So, do I just go directly to my room? Uh, am I just here? Is that all? Well, you certainly think Kessel and Ina keep a cozy inn. The place is comfy enough. You've stayed in worse places for certain. It's a door. It can open and close. Wow. Pretty neat trick, you think. Uh, just in case this isn't my room, because <laughs> it'll definitely allow me to break in if it's not my room. Or allow me to attempt it anyway. The door is already open. I wanted you to close it! <laughs> it 
It's your bed. Cozy. This dresser is for keeping your personal hygiene products. You won't be using it in this game. <laughs> but um... Well, you certainly think Kessel and... You try with all your might. There is nothing... You try with... You try really? I can't you play do anything with the doors or... Candles or... You can't... Okay, fine. Go to sleep now. You have to help Ian. What? What? You won't let me do- okay. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get some oil at night. Well, that's very strange. Why would it- okay. I assume I need to steal some then. I'm just gonna talk to your daughter, it's fine. I'm just having a chat. Hey, nice duster. Thanks. Nice beard. It's also a duster, if you know what I mean. I grew it myself. I bet you did. <laughs> that is unwise. Uh, let's ask about her father. My pa is the greatest. He takes such good care of me and this inn. I miss her. Okay, mother is dead. Stick your paw talks about for real? He used it on Mills the Banker last week. Beat him real good. It's a shame, though. He's such a handsome man. Okay, so not gonna ask you out for a drink. Bye. Oh, it was lovely talking to you, Ina. Oh, such a gentleman. Oil, oil, oil. Well, there's only one place I know of that definitely has oil. Uh... But it, it seems... I don't... Um, I, well, well, I mean, I'm a thief. <laughs> I guess I gotta go a thiever in. I'm just gonna climb back over the fence again. Over the gate, rather. You climb up. So, can I. I mean, this is surely empty right now. You try and shake the stand. It doesn't really do anything remarkable. At least you tried. <laughs> Specklad in chat points out that apparently the sheriff, i.e. the magister, is perfectly fine with the innkeeper killing people left and right. It does seem that way, doesn't it? You grab the barrel. It's so heavy, you think a dwarf is in there. You see the barrel, which is unremarkable. But then you think of how funny it would be if you had some angry dwarf shoved in there yelling and pounding on the wood. Isn't that funny? Just as you start to pull out your sword, you remember you're not an imbecile, and stop. That was a good time to remember that. So, okay, I can't get oil from here. I mean, where are you going to find oil? Not outside of town. I only tried here because I know that he sold oil. The only other place that I can think of that it would make sense is the general store. Or, like, in a, a lamp. <laughs> lamp oil. Uh, I don't know that this is actually the direction I wanted to go, but it was a direction to go. If I bust down the sheriff's door at night, will he notice? <laughs> let's, let's, let's find out. Let's title this, Bad Ideas. <laughs> Deciding that both locked doors and the door breaks off its hinges and Rayford's- Okay, so the guards are always watching. Understood. Oh, I can't even skip this scene. Rayford decides to make two. Okay, the guards didn't even show up, but whatever. <laughs> Hello, you. Well, all in black, crow on his shoulder. Either this guy's a bit shady or his girlfriend was just murdered by a gang of thugs. <laughs> Wasn't that movie called The Crow or something like that? Oh, mate, what can I do for you? Who the hell are you? The name's Obur. This is Costigan. Well, this is it. A sweet little town to call home. Great. 
Well, the tavern is about as lively as we get around here. There's a farmer's market off in the corner of town. All kind of people hang out there. There's the regulars, but occasionally travels show up to showcase their little oddities and all that. Great. Oh, Gorth's a prat. If Who is Gorth? For a blind to get a sausage or something. I just hand him one to shut him up. He gives it out worse to others in town, though. Frankly, I think he's dumb enough to get himself hurt or killed soon enough. Nice to meet you, friend. Good luck in your travels. Okay, I would appreciate it if you didn't tell anybody when I robbed the, the goods store here. The door is locked. Not for long. Just as you start to pull out your sword. Apparently I've remembered that I'm not an imbecile. Well, then what am I supposed to do? I know exactly where to get oil. It's not tricky at all. Tell you what, here's what I'm going to attempt. I'm just going to stand right here. Right next to the gate. And then I'm going to choose the wrong menu. And we're going to sleep. sleep right now. You have no time. What the heck? Game. <laughs> so obviously there's somewhere to get oil in the the middle of town. Specklad in chat suggests asking the thief, but he wouldn't really talk to me. Have any leads on where to get oil? Hey. You got that oil yet? Not yet. Well, come back. Yeah, he's not much of a conversationalist. Well, tell you what, I was just doing this as a quick uh, once-off, so if you vote for it at yallweasel.com slash poll, plug plug, then I'll continue this game, and then I'll have to figure out where to find oil. Until then, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you liked the video, tell me what you like best on this or any other video on my channel to help me make compilations. Cheers, from Yallweasel.